with 18 CS. Wait, the Shy can dive him. They can dive him. They can dive him. That can be quite volatile. To Need to help the mid push. Goes in with the SFM can contest this. Making his way through to this mid lane, but Views he wants to contest bot grab. Look for one scuttle as Why? A trade. Yeah, WBG is, so, is uh, window, swimming. I mean, to cover those same windows. Uh, also, that this might sound really weird for, to say, but, for Weibo, I think but I think Gwen as a champion keep looking for is these even stronger on stage. Outside, set up for some champs are scrim champs, some champs are stage champs. And then Lane, There's three winning lanes right now. Right Gwen is winning. Victor is of course space. winning this matchup. Definitely has to blow his flash. But I think a lot of Thresh is winning this set. matchup. You know, the eight I feel like they have three, three winning lanes. What happened in draft? WE, they also like have a, like an even jungle matchup. It's not like they have like huge advantages. Now that package you just talked about will be up for Shanks and the Herald as well. Good Valkyrie out of the gravity field, but Angel nice and healthy. This is good trading. And remember, there's no TP for the mid laners as Chaos Storm comes out. Angel doing a number on Shanks. Big damage. Chaos Storm ticking away, but it slows down. Porky package is up though, so it's not a big deal. Again. No TP lyric. He's got to go. He will base and get package. package. I think Rakan will but run towards top side and they can Angel contest this. Victor no ult now is pretty I mean, big. Shanks, actually, not bad for Porky. Waves under tower. Victor no ult and he has package anyway. Is able to hold on to but it's that not actually one. that bad at Luckily, all. Luckily, did have support in jungle coming off of uh, resets at that timing to be able to cover mid. He would have wanted to reset now anyway to be able to get the package. Oh, that's and we really get a bit of trading up at the top side. Oh, so is that? Here as well. Nice flash from Yubi to go the other way. Oh There's my no god, escape. the shy is on me. First blood of Weibo Gaming goes to their new player in my shy. It's Weibo Gaming who are coming into the river for now. Look at the Shy moving down as well. He's a bit low on mana, but he has the honey for it to pick up the lettuce in hand. They're getting quite low on the Herald, but they turn for Ooh, the play. Big damage from it's Weibo Gaming who actually get taken down for one, but reasserting their dominance, the Shy has to back off. And unfortunately, On gets taken and the Herald's given hmm. over. I don't know why they're trying to contest this. Gwen, Jarvan, no ults. Victor, no ults catching mid wave. Porky has package in a 3v3. W Feels like you can never really win this. On one side, right? you can all commit very There's really no way to win this fight. Uh, you have the knock I've been unsure why Weibo went for that. Able to execute. Do I think uh, LPL or LCK is better? We still haven't seen all too well, much come out from this game. In general, it's very hardy, so very, very early to judge. To, to be the judge in terms of really, how really early to judge. Or, or how we play the game but so initial so thoughts after literally just three days of gameplay, T1 looks like they're on another level. And LPL might be better for now, but if T1 keeps on this trajectory, I'm a bit worried for the LPL. I haven't seen Damon and Genji yet, so I'm not sure. Again, it's extremely early. But T1 is looking a bit scary. You, you do have I feel like T1 have gone up another level. Rakan, so um, always, and the thing is with the LPL, like top esports look a bit off. But I think getting some gold on a Jinx would LNG look a bit up and down. Like, like these super teams from the LPL, obviously they'll need time, they need time as well. It's not like they're going to come up against smurfing. They also look a bit off, I think. But we'll see. Initial thoughts is T1 looks really good though. Most fed member at this point. Look at the CS numbers. As we look at the bottom side, that's an oh my god! Solo kill. Back lyric. This guy brings the energy that we're expecting for the year. Yeah, amazing to see Juan Bong again having the confidence to go for that 1v1. That was so massive for them. Now Weibo can turn to this dragon. Do have numbers advantage will stay down. 3v3 without Juan Bong's ulti though. Remember as the quickness is used, Kadaya trying to get through. That hook did absolutely nothing. Kadaya running after Juan Bong, but the ulti is going to expire as Dragon goes to W. It's the first one of the game with Yu getting trapped in a field. Crescent Guard saves him for now, but the flag and drag to get back in. SOFM. Ooh, big turn though. Damage, hey, Angel though, will die too. Flash, don't flash, don't flash. Unless you can get over the wall. Porky can chase, Porky can chase. Oh, okay. He got over the wall, that's Another good. If he flashed rocket, away in a, any, in a straight line, then he's out of ammo. And the SOFM, WBG he is up in lanes. Because it was always but jungle supports are down. Which means if jungle supports are down, in most cases, you lose objectives. Herald was used mid. Drake's gone. But lane advantage is in favor of the lanes, right? So, um, you want to make sure you stabilize jungle support. Now, let's have a look at the game state. Second Herald for WE. Wow, WE is in a great spot. They will get this bot tier one, uh, Weibo. The problem is WE needs to cross map top, so Rakan needs to be here now if they want to do this. Thresh is running through lane because he knows Aphelios is going to get that bot tower no matter what, and he's there to cover top. Worst case, if they want to match the tempo of WBG, they could herald top. Not great though, I think saving herald for bot is good because you should be able to cross map this. This is 1 HP. But if you want to match tempo and force tier 2, herald here is fine. Yeah, he saves it. Very good, very good from W to save herald here.
You don't have to match their tempo. It really doesn't matter. Just take this top tier one, base, let your bot lane be mid, play with Corky push the top to move down, kill this mid tier one and herald bot. They should have three towers in the next two minutes. So they're in a really good game state right now. They're probably going to have a 1, 1.5k gold lead in around two or three minutes time. And... Um, Actually, I guess maybe w WBG uh, can hold this mid tower. We'll see. Worst case, again, you can herald mid and play for bot tier one. That Dude, also works. But WBG actually, actually have a lot of wave clear. Victor Ophelios, good wave clear. Oh, he has blue guns. Rakan has sums, which is good. Drake's in 20 seconds. So I think Corky will probably take blue and move to Drake. I hope. Actually, a really good play here for WE. Drop Drake, run herald top tier two, play for top tier two, and then move to mid. After mid wave is dead. This is actually a really good play for them right now. Renekton should catch bot wave and save his TP. But they have a really good play here if they herald top tier 2. I think they're going to do it. I think they're going to herald top tier 2. This is a really good play. Drop the Drake. Fuck the Drake. We can't get there anyway. Team fight against Victor Jarvan. Mm, not a fan. I think heralding top tier 2. Thresh reads the play, but his team's too far away. Renekton should be earlier on bot wave to catch because he has TP anyway. Here's the herald. Great. Now they can herald top and move mid. I think this is really good. They should push them out here. And they should be able to get next mid wave. Goes down. Move mid, move mid, move mid. Stop this guy from getting mid wave. And, it goes to Shanks and well, maybe they can get a tier one. Hard, but we'll see. Oh, missed. Ooh, maybe they can get. No, nah, Shy is forcing the play, so they can't get it. Yeah, he's, just, he's not going to kill anyone here. So this was fake pressure. Really good example of fake pressure. He's won before, and he knows they're going to take the tower, so he just all ins to make them back. He can't get a kill, but they have to back. Great rotation on top side, drop Good macro so far. Good macro. But then they can do the same thing. The Corky and Sinzal can run top, push out, take control of this with Rakan, move down, take mid tier one, and then this should pull afterwards, right? That's how the game should work. Cool, now Corky pushes top, moves down. Yeah, this tower should die on this wave. This wave, the tower dies. Cool. It has to die here. I think they just need to walk up. They have package, Victor's catching top wave, showing. You're 4v5. I think the way you get this tower is you force them back a bit here. You have to play a bit aggro. Gwen has no ult. Just don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared and walk up. Renekton is doing it. Come on, Jinx. Drink. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Come on. Come on. Get the tower. Now we're talking. Yes. Now go catch bot waves. Good. Good stuff. Okay. One and a half K gold lead now. Good macro. Now they need to play for bot tier one. Very easy. They just shift their top vision to bot vision. They take all of this. Walk for bot. They walk in bot jungle and this should die. Moving into this mid -game very simple, where, very easy. You know, you talk a lot about the team Early game so macro is really easy. I think they could even put Renekton in top now and Corky bot. Why? Because Corky is the tower hitter. Renekton can't hit tower against Gwen, but Corky can. Especially if your jungle's around, it's much, much better. I think they should not put Renekton bot here. I think this guy just griefed it. He ran all the way to here and now he's running bot. He thought about it, but he should be here. Renekton should be catching this wave. And Corky should be pushing bot. I think this is better. Not the end of the world, but it just min-maxing a bit. Because now Corky had to run mid, top, and now he's catching here, and now Renekton's alone. The map's just in a weird state. They're wasting around a minute's time here. Hopefully they swap their solo lane soon. I mean, they probably don't want to put Renekton into Victor, but putting Corky into Gwen is much better. Okay, look, now you can push in top, you can push in mid, but you're never going to have bot waves. This is the problem of having Corky top. Whereas if you have Corky bot, you can have bot waves, but you drop top waves, right? Oh, fight. Good engage. That guy should die. Oh, it's one. Great fight. <laughs> Renekton, please push bot. Please, please, please push bot. Please, please push bot. Renekton. Renekton, please push bot, man. Victor's going to push top. Please stop running mid. You're not going to do anything here. Oh, now you're going to run all the way back bot. Oh, now you lost like half a wave. Yeah, now we're going bot. Oh, now we're going bot. He probably thought they were going to go Nash and he didn't see Victor top, so he thought he would hover mid, but they can't do Nash. Just go, just go, just go bot wave. He has no TP, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Because when you push bot, right, what happens? Gwen has to catch bot wave, so Gwen comes down and she has no TP either, right? So you force them to, to respond respond to your push otherwise you take a tower so when they respond you run away and you have bot push and you're free on the map and they can't tp either so you force them on to respond just like this renekton's gonna have to respond to bot wave now and gwen doesn't have tp but now she can run up because there's no wave 
I was speaking right? of 80 carries as well. We That's how it works on waves. It's just a seesaw, days. right? Up, down, up, down. Pushing, not pushing. Pushing, not pushing. Oh, Rakan, Rakan, get out. Ooh, playing with fire. Are they going to flip it? No. Oh, the Shy is caught. Now the Shy is dead. The needle work coming through, but is he dead before it? The answer, yes. His first death of the LPL is WE get the pick they're looking for. And PewPew Pew moving first, a big part, but Shanks with the package once again doing its work. Ooh, hook, hook onto Rakan. Doesn't do much though. Oh, Rakan ult. Yeah, uh, Victor's dead. Or the crown did so much Pew work. Into the thick of it as well. Look at it! Running in far and wide as Angel dodges to the upward side. Stay Fresh dies. Fun, fun. That's a good protobel. It's Shuriken time as well. And but Wait, oh, Weibo's rushing Nash. It's free. It's free Nash. free Nash, free Nash, free Nash, free Nash, free Nash. Well, look. Look at the Corky's side. so it's far away. It's free Nash. Right. Oh my god, Tempo Heaven. Tempo Heaven. Out, 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 out. Out, out, out. out, out, out. Oh, oh, SOFM. Dead. Gonna be the trade. The Shy's at level 15, Gwen. And Gwen's as cute as she looks, but also no, view is gonna die, I think. How much work can Huang Fang do? The Shy getting over the wall, but Shanks joins Ooh, in. Rocket! A, bomb, a super mega death rocket. WE trying to burn down the victors. Insane. The purple worm. But Weibo Gaming get away with What a banger. It, what a banger. Two... Really good Baron. I would love to see the replay of after the fight and why they're rushing Nash. I guess all of WE based for no reason. And they based on vision. Well, for a reason, obviously, they based, right? But they based on vision. Okay, so SFM tries to ult here to buy time and then EQ out flash, but he dies. Zinzao forces to play because Renekton's deep being above. Oh, now Thresh is caught. Stop replays now. No more replays. You know That's Drake for I WE, but it's Cloud Soul, not the best. Tier 2 for Tier 2. Look at the tempo difference, though. They're hitting, he's not hitting. So are they getting bot Tier 2 here? Yeah, they are. Wow. So, two towers for none. Rennington should be able to catch top wave. I think Jarvan might have to dive to Rennington here to keep the tempo up. If he shows... Hey, Jarvan. They get it anyway. Cool. They found a pick on the Shy. Yeah, he's dead. Ah, uh, the Shy keeps getting caught on sides. But they can't. It's not bad. Like it's getting caught out on sides again. It's actually not a bad death. If they get this mid tier one, easily able to rotate one side. Mid tier one. It's worth it. It's worth it. Hey, mid tier one for a for a pick. It's so worth it. They invest Renekton. Someone's flashed. Yeah, Rakan flash for a kill and a, and a mid tier one. I think it's worth it's worth for WBG. No cap because they can catch top wave safely as well. And they don't, if they don't lose mid tier 2, it's worth. We'll see. I think Aphelios needs to. Oh, he didn't stay. Okay, they're going to lose mid tier 2. Okay, it's not worth. It's not worth. There's 50 seconds. The game will be decided. 50 seconds. The game's over. Because there's Drake, Soul, and there's Nash. So someone's going to someone's gonna fist fight. Okay, here it comes. This mid wave decides the game. Well, not really. Next one actually does. But this one's really important as well. Push, 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 push. Yeah, it decides the game. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay, nice. It hit the Gwen as well, but Huang Fang is doing so much damage. Reddington is absolutely useless. Oh, nice flashy Q. Stop watching view. He's going to have to flash away from the hook. He eats away from it instead. Now he gets the Jarvan. Now, they're not out of the water yet. WBG. They need to figure out how to dissect the map. They need to get Nash and Drake in a 4v3. How? Because both carries are still alive. Are they just going to go Nash? Are they just going to go Nash? They're going to give up Drake. They're going to give up Drake. They are going to give up Drake. I told you that mid wave will decide the game. They're like Whoever gets that mid push can dictate the whole pace of the game. Okay, they're contesting this. They're not even going for the Drake soul. They're not even going for the soul. They're just fighting it. What the fuck? They're just fighting it. Bong picks up Baron and Weibo Gaming once I guess they're just trying to see if they can fish their way in there and then they're going to take the, the... But how can they get a Drake now, actually? Wait, they can't get the Drake now. Wait, they lose 2v3, I think. Hey, get it, get it, get it. First, 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 first. Oh my god, they're cutting it close. Oh no. Ooh. Jinx got the reset. Dude, LPL plays it on a knife's edge. Got what they, came for. they play it on a knife's edge, these fuckers. They are so risk... They're so risky, like, man. 
Dude, Corky package, please. We need to go in. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Shy is dead. Package across. Oh, Angel. Point fine. They lose, they lose, they lose. Run, 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 run. Oh, flash forwards. Kite, 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 kite. Maybe he can win. Maybe he can win. Maybe Huang Fang can win. Maybe Huang Fang can. No, he got stunned. Oh, he's dead. Reset, reset. ATP mid, Corky, TP mid, Corky, TP mid, Corky, TP mid. Maybe. TP mid, Corky, 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 Corky. Loses quickly. Why aren't we TPing mid? Hello, hello. They can end. No. Engage coming out from the side of W. Never mind. Let's see if the shy wins his debut game. Will the shy win his debut game? Because he's kind of griefing, but he's also kind of not griefing. He's playing good, but he's also playing bad. What do you mean by that, Pedro? Well, his lane phase was really good, but his uh, his side laning is pretty poor. His team fighting is good as well, but his side laning is uh, he got caught like three times. I think I think WE should win now. Corky Jinx six items. They'll have package. They have full control of top side. Oh, actually saying that Jinx uh, Victor looks so strong. Oh, big hook, big hook, big hook, big hook, big hook. Oh my god, it's a monster pick. It's a monster pick. It's a monster pick. It's a monster pick. Bew Bew's griefing. Run, 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 run. Wait, Jinx, a powder, a powder, hold up. Wait, how is the Sinzao still alive? Oh my god, the rocket. Reset, 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 reset. The shy, the shy, the shy, the shy, the shy. The shy! The shy? Oh my god, Jarvan and the shy just turned the entire game around. That's it. Holy fuck. It was the shy and Jarvan and Victor E, but still. Hey, hold up. 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 Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, oh, Victor. 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 Oh, my. Holy fuck.